Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. All support is very much appreciated. So today we are taking a look at the AIM Scientist Supreme. So obviously AIM does stand for Advanced Idea Mechanics and has been in Marvel Comics since the mid 60s. So the Scientist Supreme is obviously one of the more predominant kind of leaders of uh, AIM and obviously holds a bit of a higher ranking than just some of the AIM troopers. Now as it stands I think this is probably one of the weaker figures of the wave just for the fact that he's part of a bigger organisation and not necessarily a standalone figure. But let's have a little look at the figure closer. So you can take the head off. Um, unfortunately you can't do a head swap because the peg is created for the helmet um, and the body is okay. I mean it's there's a lot of reused parts here. This was used on Taskmaster amongst other uh, figures in the past. And he's just got like a gold metallic finish to him. I mean, he looks as he should, so can't really complain. He's got obviously the AIM logo there on his chest and the blue in his visor and the nice gold finish to his armor um, and a nice big chunky belt as well. But I mean, he looks how he's supposed to look. The only accessory he comes with is this pad here, which has obviously got the AIM logo on it as well. And it's a nice translucent blue, so obviously will be quite nice for photography, etc. Um, but really what you see is what you get. Personally, I'm glad that we've got him. It's nice to have him to go alongside all of the uh, the army builder troop figures that we've got. Um, and of course, we've had the recently released MODOK. So let's just bring him in. Obviously, he's a little bit tall for my camera here, so just cut off his top of his head. But he looks very nice next to the Scientist Supreme and you can see that they're part of a bigger organization. So let's just bring in a couple of the troopers as well. So this is one of the uh, the army builder troop figures that we had, the AIM Trooper. Uh, that we got uh, late last year, I think it was, um, as well as in about 2014, I think it was in the Mandroid wave, we got one as well. Um, so we've got that, and then we had a two pack as well, uh, which came with both versions of the AIM Trooper. So they're the four um, kind of members of AIM that we've had in figure form. And as part of a larger group, the Scientist Supreme obviously looks quite nice. Um, let's actually take Modoc out for a sec and let's remove these other guys just for a second. Um, and I'll just get him into a better pose. But yeah, I mean, as a figure, he's pretty standard. I think he's probably the weaker of the wave just because there's not much to him. So for anyone without any of the AIM troopers um, or Modoc, he's a bit of a nothingly character for their shelves. Personally, as I said though, I really like him and I'm really pleased that we did get him, but there's no denying there isn't much to him going on. So let's just get him into a bit of a better pose and then I'll bring in some of the other AIM troopers. You can see here as well there's a bit of a waist swivel going on. In other media, we've had AIM in the recent Avengers game. We obviously had them debut in Iron Man 3, head out, headed up by Killian, um, and we've had them in the recent MODOK series. So let's bring in some of those other AIM troopers. Here we go. Um, nice little visual effect there um, and there's the two versions so there's the uh, the two pack version the um, recent army builder version as well and also I think one of those is from the 2014 Mandroid wave but then we also got a few of the the more kind of tactical aim troopers as well so I'll bring a couple of those in just for the sake of building up but you can see obviously the more yellow that you start putting on the screen the better the scientist supreme looks he has that finish that looks a little bit different to the others where he's got a bit of a metallic finish making him stand out as more of a an authority figure amongst the the troopers and i've got an odd number there so i'm just going to pop him behind there um, and obviously on the shelf i'd want to display him with modok as well just so that we can really build up that aim collection so let me just see if i can swap the screen out and get modok in as well hang on and there we go no, you, the wonders of modern technology. A um, little bit messy, but you get the idea. And obviously, as part of the collective, the Scientist Supreme looks rather good. So although there isn't actually much to the figure, uh, for me personally, it was about having that version of the character to put with the rest of the troopers. So there we go. So there's a nice little bundle of aim guys. So yeah, so he's not the best character in the wave, not the best figure in the wave. There's a lot of reused parts, but as a collective to put alongside the other aim troopers, he looks absolutely fine and does the job. Um, I quite like the finish on him. It gives him like a metallic -y finish. He looks like he's more important than the other guys. Um, so yeah, all in all, not a bad figure, not a great one, but not a bad one. Really pleased to have him. Um, I'm pleased that they included him in the wave, but appreciate why some people wouldn't like him. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. But yeah, Scientist Supreme, not bad.